Lesson 5, thirds, removing brackets, example 5. Show that 3 root 2 minus 1 times 3 root 2 plus 1 is a rational number. Now again, if you recall that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two squares. Now, so we've got this situation here. That, that's, that will be equal to I'll write out 3 root 2 minus 1 times 3 root 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3 root 2 all squared minus 1 squared. The name for this, these are conjugates of each other, but they're the same numbers but just the sign changes. So 3 root 2 all squared is 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. And 1 squared is just 1. And of course, this is 3 times 3 is 9. Times root 2 squared is just 2 minus 1. So the answer is 18 minus 1, 17, which is a rational number. Okay, this is an examination of style question. We have to find the values of P and Q if 3 root 5 minus 2 root 3 all squared equals P minus Q root 15. Now we'll have a look at the left hand side. And of course this is a square, so we know that um, A minus B all squared is A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. So this so the expression to the left hand side will be equal to 3 root 5 all squared minus 2 times 3 root 5 times 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 all squared. Now that is 3 root 5 times 3 root 5 minus, now multiplying these ones together, we get 2 times 3 is 6, uh, times 2 is 12, and that's going to be 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 root 3 times 2 root 3. Multiplying those two together, you get 9 times 5, minus 12 root 15 plus those two together is going to be 4 times 3. So we've got 9 times 5 is 45 minus 12 root 15 plus 12. So 45 and 12 is 57 minus 12 root 15. Now that's equal to P minus Q root 15. Therefore, P must be 57 and Q must equal 12.